Welcome to the series where I test out the OSR's wiki money making guides. I started this series almost a year ago and since then we've tried out multiple methods even if they're a little silly such as picking bananas or even flax. If you enjoy these types of videos then feel free to check out the playlist that I've made for them and feel free to leave a suggestion down in the comments for a method that you'd like to see tested. With that being said, let's get into the video. So today's moneymaker has a very special place in my heart because this is the moneymaker that I would do way back in the day when I first started playing RuneScape. The goal was always to get 60 wood cutting so that I could cut those very expensive yew trees. And once I finally got it, that's all I did. All I did was cut yew trees. I sold the yew logs to buy my first full rune set. And yeah, those were those are the days. This was my favorite tree right here, the one next to this monastery, because I always felt that this tree was less packed than the others. When I first started cutting yew trees, I always cut them over here in this area because there was three spawns. You have this one right here, this one, and then this one. And then whenever you get a full inventory, you have to run over here, back to the bank, and then restart the process. But these trees were always filled up with people. There was always at least like five people at each tree. So I went searching, I went walking around, and I found this lonely tree right here. And there was less people on this tree than there were on these. So I started using this one for the most part. And yeah, even though there's only one tree, it was still pretty nice. Pretty good spot. Very, very fond memories of being here in this area. But of course, you have some other trees now, uh, which I don't even know if they were there before. They might have been, but I just wasn't aware of them. There's also three right here. And you can bank here the GE if you want to. And then of course you have the ones that are in Edgeville. You have two right here that are very close to a bank. But for this video, I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to do 30 minutes of free to play you woodcutting and 30 minutes of members woodcutting. So for this one, I'm thinking about just using my favorite spot right here. But I feel like we're losing out on the maximum amount of money that we can get. So we're probably going to pick a different spot. I just thought I'd show you this spot. And then for the members, we're going to head over to the woodcutting guild and most likely chop the yew trees here since there's a bank very close by and there's plenty of yew trees all around. Also, we get to use the invisible boost from the woodcutting guild and we'll also be wearing our lumberjack outfit for the extra woodcutting XP. So let's get into it. All right, so the wiki recommends going to Lumbridge since the yew trees there are rarely in use. The best spots are of course Edgeville, where I'm at right now, and east of the Grand Exchange. But apparently there's always bots there, so I was just hopping around a couple worlds. I'm on a free-to-play world to make this, you know, as close to free-to-play as I can. I'm also using a rune axe and nothing else. And yeah, so world 430, it's not a skill total world, it's a free-to-play world. And here at Edgeville, there's only one person chopping trees. So I think we'll go ahead and use this spot. It's not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and do 30 minutes here, and then like I said, 30 minutes at the Woodcutting Guild for the members portion. So this guy was asking if I had any bonds, and I told him that I was cutting use for a bond. <laughs> Times are tough out here, man. Alright, so after 30 minutes of cutting U logs in free to play here in Edgeville, we managed to get 94 U logs, and that is worth a whopping 28k. Not bad. So we can pretty much double this to get our hourly rate. So, yeah, pretty good. Let's go ahead and move over to the members portion of the video now. Oh, yeah, and I didn't mention this, but we also managed to get 16.4k woodcutting XP. All right, so here we are in the woodcutting guild. As you can see, there's plenty of trees, a bunch of yew trees down here in this area where no one is at. That's probably because there's no bank nearby. Actually, no, wait, that's not true. There is a bank nearby. There's the bank deposit box that is close to the axe shop. I think there's a deposit box here. I'm pretty sure there is. But yeah, the ones that we'll be cutting are up here. Plenty of yew trees and the bank chest is close by right here. So yeah, let's go ahead and start it. We have our Lumberjack outfit for the extra woodcutting XP, and we also have our Dragon Axe, which is definitely better than a Rune Axe. So let's get into it. Now, I'm currently reading the wiki's entry for cutting U logs in Members Worlds, and apparently you can use tick manipulation to get up to 345 U logs per hour, which is 101,000 points per hour. So it's almost double of what you're making uh, just doing it the regular way. but 
I'm not going to do that mainly because I don't know how and because if you're chopping yew trees, you're probably doing it because it's AFK. If you want to put that much effort into something, you're much better off doing a different moneymaker that will pay you a lot more. So something I completely forgot about is you can actually get bird's nests from chopping trees. So I'll leave that up to you whether you want to include that in the price check, but just for the sake of the video, I'll add it in there as some extra money. So we get a ring and of course we get the bird nest that we can sell, which is worth quite a bit of money. So after 30 minutes of cutting new logs in members, we managed to get 134 and two bird's nests with rings in them. So let's go, let's go ahead and do a price check. 52,519 coins from, yeah, 30 minutes of you log cutting. So not bad. Pretty noticeable difference. I mean, over time, you will notice it, especially if you, you know, grind this out to 99, then you will get a huge difference in terms of GP because of not only the increased U logs, but also because of the bird's nest and rings. Also, we managed to get 24,000 wood cutting XP. Thanks to, of course, the more logs that we cut, but also the outfit that we have. The Lumberjack outfit gives us a, I believe it's 2.5% more XP when cutting logs. We also have the Dragon Axe, which speeds up the process of cutting logs. And of course, being in the Woodcutting Guild gives us an invisible boost of plus 7. And since we're in the guild, using the Dragon spec on the Dragon Axe also helps out. So it's a plus 10 boost, which is very nice. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to check this out, but whenever I was doing the first portion of this video, I noticed this portal over here. There is a Soul Wars portal already, which is pretty cool. This is my first time being here. Very interesting area. I don't believe that Soul Wars is in the game yet. Well, at least as of recording this video. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the Soul Wars minigame will be released on the 6th of January. Once it has been released, you'll be able to return here and play. So it's actually not that far away. That's pretty cool. When this comes out, I'll definitely have to try it out. I don't think I've ever played this in the past before. I'm pretty sure the only mini games that I did like in the past because of, you know, I, I didn't play as much back in the day. I didn't have access to a computer at home, you know, so I couldn't really play this all the time. And I was restricted to free to play. So the only mini game that I really took part in was Fist of Guthics back in the day, but yeah, this is uh, this is going to be new content for me, so we'll, we'll see how it is. And here's a look at the XP rates and GP per hour for free-to-play and members. If you want to, you can change the GP per hour on the member side to 83,348. That would be the number that we would get if we left out the nests and, of course, the rings that came along with it. And you also have a chance at getting some seeds, which are worth quite a bit. Well, at least some of them are, so yeah. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and if you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe even a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.